Hey, it's Manny from Team GAN. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to conduct a SWOT analysis for your projects. We'll talk about what a SWOT analysis is, explore its core elements with examples, and discuss how it can be beneficial to you and your projects. We'll also cover when a SWOT analysis might be overkill and walk you through the steps of how to conduct one effectively. Also, check out the description for links to all of the resources mentioned throughout this video. So what is a SWOT analysis? SWOT stands for strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. It's a strategic planning tool that's used to identify and analyze internal and external factors that can impact the success of your project and business. By examining these factors, you can develop a clear picture of your project's position and create strategies to maximize strengths and opportunities while minimizing weaknesses and threats. Now let's talk about the four elements of a SWOT analysis. First, we have strengths. These are internal factors that can give your project an advantage over others. Strengths can include a skilled project team, strong stakeholder support, advanced technology, or a unique methodology. For example, if your team has a lot of experience with similar projects, that would be a strength because it increases likelihood of success. And next, we have weaknesses. These are also internal factors that could hinder your project's success. They might include limited resources, lack of expertise, poor communication, or unrealistic timelines. An example of a weakness could be a project team that lacks experience with a specific technology required for that project, which could lead to delays and errors. Next, we have opportunities. These are external factors that your project could capitalize on. They might be market trends, new technologies, or change in regulations that favor your project. For instance, if there's a growing demand for eco-friendly products and your project aims to develop a sustainable solution, this market trend poses a great opportunity. And lastly, we have threats. These are external factors that can pose risks to your project. They can include economic downturns, new competitors, changing regulations, or supply chain disruptions. An example of a threat might be a new competitor entering the market with a similar product, which can impact your project success. Now, how can a SWOT analysis be helpful to you and your project? By identifying and analyzing these factors, you can create strategies that leverage strengths, address weaknesses, capitalize on opportunities, and minimize threats. This holistic view helps in making informed decisions, allocating resources efficiently, and improving overall success rate of your projects. But when is a SWOT analysis overkill for a project? A SWOT analysis might be too much for a small, straightforward project with minimal risks and uncertainties. If your project scope is limited and the potential challenges are well understood, a detailed SWOT analysis might not be necessary. Instead, a more simple risk assessment might suffice. You can download our risk assessment template by clicking here. Before we move on to the next steps, hit the like button and subscribe for future videos on project management. So what are the steps for conducting a project SWOT analysis? Here's a straightforward process you can follow. First, gather your project team and stakeholders. It's essential to have diverse perspectives to make sure you have a comprehensive analysis. Start by brainstorming strengths. Encourage the team to think about internal factors that give your project an edge. Write down all of the ideas without filtering them initially. Next, move on to identifying weaknesses. Ask the team to consider what internal factors might hinder the project's success. Be honest and critical during this phase to make sure that all project weaknesses are captured. After that, brainstorm opportunities. Look at the external factors and trends that your project could leverage. Consider market conditions, technological advancements, and regulatory changes that can benefit your project. Then identify threats. Discuss external factors that can impact your project negatively. Think about market competition, economic factors, and any other external factors that could pose a risk. Once you have a comprehensive list, prioritize the different factors. Determine which strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats are most critical to address. This will help you focus your strategies on the most impactful areas. Finally, develop strategies based on your SWOT analysis. Create action plans to leverage strengths, improve weaknesses, capitalize on opportunities, and avoid threats. Assign responsibilities and set timelines to make sure these strategies are implemented effectively. You can find links to our SWOT analysis templates and sign up for a TeamGAN account in the description below. TeamGAN is a simple and easy to learn project management tool that can bring clarity, relieve stress, and boost efficiency in your team and projects. Our Kanban board view allows you to prioritize action items easily, 
assign deadlines and people to tasks, add notes, comments, and more. Team Gantt has four different views because we know everyone learns and works differently. So why should we all have to work the same when planning a project? Not only do we have the Kanban board view, but we also have a list view, calendar view, and Gantt chart view that all work together. So go down to the description and sign up for your free account today. So let's wrap this up. In summary, a SWOT analysis is a powerful tool for project managers to gain a holistic view of their project's position and develop strategies for success. And while it might be overkill for smaller projects with minimal risks, it provides significant benefit for larger and more complex projects. Hey, if you found this video helpful, I'd really appreciate it if you hit that like button and subscribe for future videos on personal and project management. I'm Manny from Team Gantt, and I'll see you guys next time.